In this lesson, we want to continue the former menu with a spline wrap. A spline wrap, if you insert that, it, you don't need to hold and shift to assign the object. A spline wrap, a spl uh, wrap the object uh, to a spline. It's simple. I give you a simple example with a cylinder. The position of the cylinder, the position of the a spline and the deformer is not important it automatically do everything for you but you have to first align all of the direction to the same direction as you can see if you select the spline the direction of the spline from start to end in this way as you can see the spline uh, wrap has an arrow here that uh, to point that direction so the spline and the spline wrap is in the same direction, but our object is not in the same direction. I want to, for example, make it, I want in this uh, cylinder from this direction go all through the spline. So you have to rotate it the y axis like this. And as you can see, I want to uh, wrap it on a spline. So three directions are the same and we can do our work. Okay, uh, see the spline wrap behavior if you click and drag it under spline. As you can see, the deformer has to be child of the object. And it's automatically snapped to the object, fit it, everything. It's automatic food because it's very important. In the settings, we have a lot of settings. First, I want to explain bounding box. Is As you can see, the fixed bounding box is inactive it means automatically fit to the object but if you delete that start it again hold don't hold and shift if you click fix bounding box it does not automatically <coughs> go into the object and snap it here you have to change the position of the and the former and change its size to fit that this box, this <coughs> settings is when you want to assign the object that has an, a lot of hierarchy. For example, this image. As you can see, we have a cloner, symmetry, sweep, any object here and we assign the spline to it, that. If we, the, as the, the comment uh, does not fit object, uh, some problem will be happen here. So, for that purpose, we have to manually set our uh, bounding box when the software does not mm, good in job, okay? So make it again, and if you untick that, it's automatically a snap. But if you tick that, you just can't move it and does not go back to default size. Okay, it's automatically a snap, and here in a spline, I have to introduce a spline that I want to wrap on it and as we can see it will be automatically wrapped but the shape of the uh, deformer will maintain that there but as you can see as I said before you know we need more segment to bend well okay this is a simple example this is the powerful object we need to don't need to do a lot of things the suit object do us for everything automatically but this is an example. The power of the object, this comment is here. You can deform, for example, this text to that spline. Okay? From, this is the main purpose of this spline. So, we don't need holding shift, just <coughs> click on the spline wrap and click and drag it under the text. Make sure the bounding box is inactive and it's automatically uh, go fit to that and then uh, click and drag that spline to that and as you can see it's everything nice for us and we have a lots of sitting and animation here for more convenience we can uh, holding alt and click and click to hide that from viewport and render that we can see our object better First, I want to uh, go into the rail. The rail is a, a identifier, I think. It's something that you can 
control the rotation and the size of the object. It's better you just copy your rail and uh, copy your main object and call it rail. Call my, our, our main object main. Don't worry about the name, it automatically renamed there. And we hold in control and uh, copy it and bring it up. This is an rail that control the rotation of the all of the object. The size, I prefer that exactly at the size of rotation and the position of, of main. <laughs> Going to the spline and uh, define the rail to the common. And I want to first uh, explain the rotation to you. We have a lot of settings. Don't worry, it's very easy. <clears throat> Here, with automatically uh, active rotation from rail, it means if you select your rail and uh, change it, as you can see, it rotates the whole object uh, according to rail. But something's happened. When you tick active rotation from object, it means whole polygon of the object uh, face to the rail and rotate with that and deform with that. You can see. But we want to, if, but if you want to rotate <coughs> from its axis, you have to deactivate it. As you can see, the object does not deform and just rotate from its axis, from their axis. Okay? It's your, uh, it's, it's on you to decide which uh, which position do we want? Okay. In the banking, in an up vector, you can type with 1 and 0 to ch change rotation. But if you want to just, if you in inactive that, you want to rotate it with the banking. Or, for example, if you want to lay down, you can <coughs> hit number that you want. Okay. This is a banking. But we can control the rotation and the spline rotation with the function graph. As I said before, I explained them before. Right click, show in separate windows to see it bigger. Okay. We have two axes. Zero from one is the length of the object. And zero from the one in this direction is the rotation. Click and drag it. As we can see, this is 0 to 360 degree. You can rotate it like this. You can rotate, align the object, or you can hold control and change rotation in any direction of the object. That's easy. <clears throat> but what is the difference between a spline rotation? It's You can uh, look at here, we have something like offset. Turn it down and just want to... oh. Uh, sorry, uh, I explained the strings. Here are strings. You can uh, make the object, the strings of the common zero. It's will be back to its position, and it's go to the deform version. You can animate that as well. But the offset is to move the <coughs> object along the curve. As you can see, it's calm out of the curve like this and two as you can see it's just it does not move uh, out of the curve just in a curve it's compress it like this expand or compress it it's from the beginning or you can from it's compress it to end <clears throat> okay now back to rotation as you can see if we make the offset object out of the curve as you can see our whole object rotation this rotation means you rotate whole object and it does not concern it is in curve or out of the curve make it back and go with the oh, going to the spline <coughs> Make it 100. And in this part, we rotate the spline. It acts like, like before, but a spline rotation means you, uh, sorry, a spline rotation means you uh, rotate the spline. But if you 
make the object object out of the spline as you can see the object goes to uh, previous rotation it means not it has no rotation if it's off you can see the rotation is in the curve not outside the curve the rotation here you rotate hold the object in or out the curve but when you rotate the spline the rotation happens just in a spline when you go to object outside it will be going to previous rotation and you can do that effect like this if you have a problem here you can go into the text and caps and make it regular grid or anything that you want okay as i said before i tell you i told you okay now you understand the spline rotation and here you can change the strength of that to 100 or zero so this is a rotation make it to the zero it means no rotation <clears throat> okay now we are going to changing the size we have the, all the same things you can change you can change the scale from rail it depends on the rail you can change the rail and change the size of the objects but inactive and you can change the size right click separate in a window it is in a above as you can see you can change the size like this if zero to one is means zero to any length that curve has and the one to zero it's it uh, zero it's zero size and one is a whole object in default size with any size that it has but if you change the size this is end of the spline you can change the size like this and change the size any direction at all. okay and now you are you can see you, you know the difference between size and uh, a spline size it don't uh, you it means if you change the size of here if you bring your object up bring your object <coughs> outside to the spline it means maintain its size it means you directly change the size of the object but click and delete that point delete that point <coughs> but if you change the size of the object like this i want to keep those end and position there and as you can see if you offset the object if you go to the spline we have that change size spline effect there because the spline size happen inside the spline if you change it here and if you go the off side as you can see the object come back to its original size this is different between uh, spline size or rotation between the size and rotation regular okay this is a spline wrap you can use it and make a lots of interesting ideas with that hello my friends to continue these tutorials on youtube subscribe us like us and hit the bell icon and now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release